Hi everybody, it's Steve from Pixel Bump here with a new free script for After Effects, Multiplane. In a few of the past tutorials, we've dealt with setting up a multiplane camera and layers. And if you remember, it's not that it's difficult, it's just a little time consuming. And one thing I try to do is always get any time consuming, repetitive task out of my workflow. That way I can just focus on the creative. And hopefully this script will help you do that too. So let's take a look at what this script can do. Here we have a simple comp set up with seven different layers. And if we want to make this a multiplane camera setup, we would need to enable our 3D layers, start pushing things in 3D space, and then scaling them and repeating that over and over again until we were happy with what we had. Now, I didn't want to have to do that ever again, so I created a little script here. So if I go ahead and I select my layers, and then I come down to my scripts, and I go to PB Multiplane, get a little dialog box, and the first thing it's going to ask you for is the distance. How far in Z space do you want to spread out your different layers? So I'm going to say 10,000 units. And I have a choice to either generate the layers evenly or randomly. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and generate the layers evenly. The script has noticed that there is no camera set up here. So it's going to make a camera for us and add it to the composition. And there we go. Now, it looks like absolutely nothing has changed. But if we go to a second view, we can now see all of our layers have been spread out in 3D space. Now, we're not quite done yet, because if we try to take our camera here and move it along, we'll see that the layers are reacting to the camera's position still. So this is good because I can come in and say, you know what, I want this one a little further back. I want this one a little closer. And you can see it's scaling the layer in real time based on the position. And once I'm happy with all my positions, I can finalize my layer positions. And now, if I move this guy out of the way, now I can go ahead and start moving through in 3D space. Nice, fast, simple, and moving on to just the next part of the creative. So let's take a look at a second example. Here we've got a bunch of blood splatters that we may want to set up for a motion graphics composition. And in this one, I'm gonna say, I know I want my camera to be pretty wide. Let's say a 20 millimeter camera. I'm gonna add that in first. Now, once again, by just selecting my layers and let's say go to 5,000 units this time, this time I'm gonna generate my layers randomly. I'm gonna hit the button. And again, looks like nothing has changed, but once we open up, composition, we can see that all the layers have been spaced randomly. And if I click again inside, I can still do my adjustments. So I think this one's way too close here. It's all these other ones. I want to have a little bit more spacing, maybe bring this guy closer. And again, if you're watching over here, nothing is changing because it is scaling the Z position to match the frame. So once I'm happy, I can again finalize my layer position and I can now use that nice wide camera to move through my images in an interesting way. So now I can just fly through everything. And it was quick, simple, and easy to set up. So that's everything this script covers. I hope you're gonna find it useful and add it to your workflow. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or down in the comments. And if you want to keep learning and get more tutorials or assets that you can use in your work, check us out at our website, pixelbump.com. Thanks so much for watching. Go and create.